what instruments were used to find these planets and this star? So we use the Spitzer Space Telescope to discover that there were seven Earth-sized planets around the star TRAPPIST-1. Now TRAPPIST-1 is a very cold, uh, small red dwarf star. And there are seven planets packed in around this. But what's really, really exciting about the system is three of those planets are in the star's habitable zone. So if they have a surface, then liquid water could exist at those temperatures. And if you put it in our solar system perspective, it would all fit within Mercury. So it's a very alien solar system mm. that has now been discovered. So what are you seeing? What type of information are you getting back? You said because if it has a surface, how are we able to tell uh, that they are habitable? Are you guys able to see, you know, rocks there or anything of the sort? So we use the Hubble Space Telescope to look at the transit of these planets. So as they pass in front of their star, they block out a really tiny portion of the light. Now this is the equivalent of you looking at a street lamp and seeing a mosquito pass in front of it. So we're using the Hubble Space Telescope and the Spitzer Space Telescope to look for this very small change in light. And we can actually see, if we look at it in lots of different colors and build up a spectrum, the light that shines through that planet's atmosphere before it reaches us. And that's really exciting. That's the next step for what we're doing mm. as scientists to look at this system. So what is the next step when it comes to this? How will you able, be able to get more answers? So this is going to be something that we're studying for the next decade. So learn the name TRAPPIST. So we're going to be looking at the atmospheres of these planets with the Hubble Space Telescope. And then we are actually got it, NASA's launching the James Webb Space Telescope, the largest telescope ever to be launched. And we're going to be able to look at these atmospheres in great detail, mm. be able to see what different materials are actually there and try and work out what the environment's like on these alien Earth sized planet and there's we have no information yet on the gas because even if it's the right temperature it could have gas that obviously we might not be able to handle so last year we were able to look at the two closest planets to their star so this is inside the habitable zone so they 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 are actually too hot for it to wa liquid water to exist on the surface uh -huh. but we were able to look at these two planets um, and we were able to see that their atmosphere isn't big and puffy like neptune and it's actually probably more like the earth or venus okay. so that's really really interesting that's the first step and next we want to look at these new planets we want to look at the ones in the habitable zone yeah. and try and see what their atmosphere are like.